were friends for a long time. Um, our previous band were playing together uh, in San Diego a lot, a few different shows, and we eventually hooked up, I guess, interested in each other's music and thought it'd be fun to just play some music together. It took us about 10 years before we actually did it. <laughs> and the name came back with that. From a, a film called Dark Star. There's a character in the film played by Dan O'Bannon who later wrote Alien. You gotta watch the movie and it all makes sense. I can't tell everything. <laughs> Talk about your new album. Talk about the recording part of it. The fact that we use live drums a lot more. Sort of different from the past. We tried to make it sound as much like our live shows as possible because when we play live, we have a lot more energy and we're trying to share an emotion and a feeling with people instead of just press and play on the CD, you know. This is our subtitle album where, here, it's, uh, we'll just dub it for you. So it won't be that crazy when you actually go to see it. We always do really well, we have really fun shows here. So I would hope that it would carry into people listening to the record. It's one of my favorite places to play. I really like it here. We played a show in San Diego where we live, and it was the craziest show that we've ever played. There was at least one to three people crowd surfing, crowd surfing at all times. The reason they got so crazy is because, oh, you guys are acting really nuts, but you know who's the nuttiest town of all? And they're like, woo, because they thought I was going to say them. And I was like, no, it's Salt Lake City, really. Those guys are awesome. You guys are nothing compared to those guys. You're gonna see dudes with their shirts off on top of other dudes with a midget and a, and a cowboy and, a, and three monkeys and a pinata. So they took offense to it and they started. Oh yeah, and that's them. when they got really, really crazy. <laughs> so that was the craziest show we ever played. <laughs> Is there um, a place around here that has like some kind of Osmond's memorabilia? I'm obsessed with the Osmond brothers. They just had that reunion show with, with everybody. And I almost spent $700 to get the last ticket that I could find on eBay, but we had to tour. And I would have done it too. I don't know, can I have a day off and I'll fly there? I think most Pinback fans would be surprised. I think most fans of any music would be surprised if they understood how awesome the Osmond Brothers really, really were as a band. I mean, I completely object with he, anything they stand for. He's speaking for himself on this whole thing, <laughs> too. And he has played me some of this stuff, and it, it didn't do anything for me. <laughs> he liked, I thought you liked some of it. Crazy horses? Not enough to pay $700. Everybody likes, <laughs> everybody likes crazy horses. Shadows, too many sails, nobody moves, nobody moves. What do people here tell you about your music? They just go, whoa. Most of the time, they just they really enjoy your music. I'm you just know? happy they like it in the first yeah. place. <laughs> I, don't care why. I care why if it's a special, even like a special fun reason, more maybe than a regular reason. But I'm just thankful. I'm nothing but thankful. It's just something that I got to do. I can't stop writing music, playing music. It's an escape for me. It's a uh, something that is a part of me, so if I don't do it, it'll kind of incomplete. We write music and put out records and play shows so that we could write more music and put out more records and play more shows. We did it before anybody cared and we're going to do it after anybody cares. I'm Rob Anzac, and I'm from Pinback. You're watching Park City Television. Captain Beefheart is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
I'm Rob from Pinback. I'm Zach from Pinback. This is Park City Television. <laughs> That's it. <laughs>